Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just trying to get in the habit of doing more like kind of daily vlogs like this as we're doing stuff around the sanctuary. Let me know if you enjoy seeing these, you know, I'm just trying to get more of the habit of trying to show you guys, you know, what goes on over here. So right now I'm in the quad enclosure and uh, cleaning poop. It's uh, super glamorous, but what is funny is uh, they actually just pulled the rope into the hide. So they've been doing this a lot. I don't know what their obsession is with this. Look what they did this thing too. <laughs> We try to tie knots as tight as we can onto this rope so that they can't rip it apart. Uh, we got this rope. The person who uh, dropped them off actually gave us this, and we can't find any of this stuff to buy anywhere. We want to get more of it because they love it. They can climb on it. It's thick enough they can climb on it, but haven't been able to find it anywhere else. And uh, the thing is, though, they, they just they love to shred it, which is fun. It's good enrichment for them, but, like, we need it to be able to be replaced, right? So they do love the rope. You know, we have it up here and over there and over there. And then over on this side, you can see it did the same thing. So I'm going to try to retie uh, this one. So I am tying these knots as tight as I can can and the quaddies are still able to untie these and uh, just shred them look at this i had this i tried having this one like screwed into the post and they still they ripped it off and just shredded this thing and up at the top too so i don't know gotta find a new solution and also if anybody has a uh source on this stuff give me some because uh it's awesome but we just can't find it anywhere so let me see if i can tie some of this stuff off a little bit I'm trying as hard as I can, but I don't know how they're able to do this. I mean, they're really strong little critters, man. Like, it's really amazing. They didn't get this one untied yet, but I'm gonna see if I can tighten that knot up on it. Yeah, they, they love these things. So they're usually pretty good about their hides, but for some reason they decided to poop in here. So I gotta like get up in here and try to clean this some. Now this is the heated hide, so there's no hay in here. So I'm not sure why they would decide to poop in this thing. But animals do weird stuff. doing huh what you doing what you doing hmm? oh you're gonna climb me like a tree ow claws guys just climb straight up on me hi lola hi loli hi baby what are you doing what are you doing little nose bear hmm what are you doing little nose bear you sniffing So she will like literally put her whole snout inside my mouth. So that's why like I try to uh, keep that away. And then also she likes to stick her whole snout inside my ear or into my eye, you know, anywhere. Oh, and there she goes. What you doing, huh? Being crazy girl. What? What you doing, huh? You're gonna jump, you're gonna jump. Ugh. She loves it. ow, leap right onto me and put her claws right in my neck. No personal space. What you doing, huh? Here, go in your hammock. Go in the hammock. You gonna go in your hammock? No, you're gonna just sit and put your butt in my face? What you doing, Lola? Oops. 
く<笑> Get up in there! Go in your hammock! Go in your hammock, little lean! Kind of a cooler day out, so seems like they kind of have the zoomies. They're being extra active with the cold weather. What's that, huh? You want to play with your toy? Lily. You see, she had pulled the, the rope into there and just shredded it, too. You trying to jump that? You can't jump that far. She's thinking about trying to jump to me. What are you doing, Blanco? What are you doing, Blanco? Hey, Blanco. Hey, Blanco bear. So he's the male, so he's the largest. Hi, Jelly Bean. Hi. Oh, I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. So now we're over in the aviary, which is still wrapped for the cold. There you go, buddy. They're feeding Jelly Bean a little bit of breakfast here. So Jelly Bean is a keel build toucan. He likes to bite a lot. He's being nice right now. You hear him kind of make his little purr sounds. Hi. You eating a grape? You eating a grape? Yeah. You like that grape? Good boy. Look at that good boy. And over here we've got Petrie. Hi Petrie. He's a red billed hornbill. And uh, they're native to Africa, but we caught him flying around in South Florida. So he's either an escaped or released animal. We're not sure what his background is, but uh, yeah, he's flying around wild. And, um, you know, a good point with him, he was flying around wild and he was trying to break into people's houses because he didn't know how to hunt on his own and gather food on his own. So he's literally flying up the windows and trying to get inside of houses to be able to get food. So... There's a lot of people who think that if, uh, you know, an animal, they have a, a, a pet, like an exotic pet most of the time. They're like, oh, I don't want it anymore, whatever. I'm going to just let it go and it's going to be happy out in the wild. A lot of times they don't survive. They don't know how to get food on their own or the climate is not what their native range is and et cetera, et cetera. Or even if it does survive then it becomes an invasive species. So, you know, I just really like to pound home that you should never, ever, ever release any sort of pets, especially non-native. Um, not only do they usually die, if they don't die, they become an ecological issue and a potential invasive species. So never, ever release your pets, you know? And even if they are pets that are native to the area, a lot of times they've been in captivity their whole life. They don't survive. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle predators and whatnot. So, I just, we see so many dumb pets. It's really, really sad. So I just really like to put that out there again. And then here we got Zazu, and he's a Vonderdecken's hornbill. And he loves his heat lamp. That's why he's like looking really red right now, because got his heat lamp hooked up right here. It's kind of a colder day, so he's enjoying the heat. Hi, Rocky. So Rocky is a cynical parrot, and uh, he's very talkative. He says a lot of words. He's very, very cute. Look at Rocky eating. I love when they hold their food in their little hand and eat. Get food on your face. Hi, Cupie. Oh, hi, Cupie. Look at this big man. Oh, look at him. He just wants food. He's like, don't pet me. Bring me to the food. There you go, Cupie. Yeah, and here we got Cupid and Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Man, the lighting in here is horrible for filming though, just with the uh, the tarps that we have up around here for the cold. And then you can also hear in the background, we got a lot of work going on for the uh, gator ponds. I'm gonna show that in a minute. All right, so we got the one concrete gator pond over here. And then we've got the guys out there right now. They are stamping down all the dirt around the second gator pond. And then they're gonna be pouring the concrete on that the day after tomorrow. And then uh, they've been putting up the fence posts over here so you can see this is going to be the fence line right here so this will be a six foot tall perimeter fence for the alligators i've had a lot of people asking me you know uh what about your other animals what about your dogs you know are they going to all get eaten by the alligators and yes of, of course that's exactly what i plan on having happen i've only worked with alligators for 20 years and 
we purposefully make the enclosure so all the other animals can get eaten. Clovey, Clovey, are you going to get eaten by an alligator? Yeah. Are we going to be negligent and we're going to do a horrible job and we're going to build this so you can get eaten because this is our first rodeo? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's almost like I haven't worked in this industry my whole life. Oh my God. You ever guys, you guys ever read the comments I get? It's insane. But yeah, so the... Well, actually, to give you an idea of what is actually required, so the FWC requirement for a perimeter fence for the alligators, crocodiles, is only a five-foot fence, right? So I think uh, <laughs> I'm making mine six feet. You know, theirs is only five feet, so I'm going to make mine six feet tall. And then on the top, I'm also going to have a... Uh, a piece of wood like this, a post that goes across to each one, and then have the um, fencing be like, basically like if it's like this and the post is, is up here, it's really hard to do by myself to try to show you. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, alone today. So if we have it like that, have the, um, the fencing kind of on the back side. And so if an animal were to go up, they'd have to go up the fence and then get around the post to be able to get over. And that's going to really uh, prevent anybody from being able to climb over. Because everybody's like, well, can't gators climb fences? And I'm like, well, yes, they can, but they very, very rarely do. And if you make the fences the correct way, they're not going to be able to. So that's why we're going to make ours with the posts on the top. And that way, if they do go up, they would have to get around it and they can't do that, right? So that's kind of the idea on these fence posts. So that'll be really cool to do. Clover's enjoying all the fresh dirt. What are you doing, crazy girl? You got dirt all over your face. You got dirt all over your face. Crazy. <laughs> so if you guys saw Jumanji's roof in the other video, the ferns are doing really well. Uh, I watered them that day, and then the day after, they looked amazing. And then I haven't watered them since. So they're starting to curl up again. And, uh, you know, again, they're called Resurrection Fern for a reason. So they will look like they're totally dead if they don't get water within a day or two. And they will look like they're dead, but they're not at all. And as soon as they get watered again, they pop back up and they resurrect and look nice and lush and pretty. So I'm really liking this as his roof, you know, like a living roof on here for him. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, he popped his head out earlier. Again, it is a colder day today, so he popped his head out, looked around, felt it, and was like, nah, thanks. And he went back inside of his house. So <laughs> I don't think he's going to come back out again today, but he's enjoying it in there. He's got heat pads in there, so he's very happy. All right, so now we're in here in the red fox enclosure where we're going to get those uh, fur farm foxes rescued. We're going to be getting them tomorrow, actually. So uh, we got most of the mulch down. I'm going to go ahead and finish up putting down the mulch. We got these nice logs. I need to just stabilize these. Right now we got them up on, on these smaller logs so that they're not on the ground. I don't want on the ground where it's going to like rot uh, since it's already kind of rotting so i want to try maybe cut these in half and then uh that way they're not you know wiggly and then this should be secure i think so we we'll do that in a little bit right now uh, i'm just gonna throw down a bunch of the mulch though So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have also seen that on my stories, Olaf has been in the hospital. So he stopped eating like two weeks ago, or if you don't even know who Olaf is, he's one of our cockatoos, but uh, he had a total loss of appetite. It was really weird. So we took him to the bird hospital and he's been there since, and they think he might have cardiac issues. But uh, the good news is he's coming home today. Gabby's out getting him right now. I'm going to bring him back. So I got to get this cage right here prepped for him. And uh, he's going to be inside. Normally, he lives outside in that big aviary. But um, we're going to have to keep him inside to be able to hand feed him and monitor him and give him medicine uh, for the short term. And then eventually, we'll be able to put him back out in the main aviary. But um, so I got to clean this thing off because the chickens have been roosting on this. So now the fun part is scrubbing out a bunch of chicken poop. And then uh, we can get this ready for Olaf. So we just got a delivery of more fencing posts right here. So I'll go for the uh, fence around the gator pond. A whole bunch of them.
So here's some progress on the second gator pond. So they are setting up the rebar and getting everything ready to be able to concrete. So tomorrow we're gonna pick up the new fur farm foxes. I have such a hard time saying that like five times a day. But uh, so now I gotta clean out these carriers right here. They've just been sitting under the deck getting rained on and covered in dirt. So I gotta clean these things out now. All right, so Gabby just got home with Olaf and he is eating on his own. Look at this happy boy. Good boy, Olaf. Oh, look at Olaf. You eating your own food by yourself? Good boy. Oh, yeah. Good boy, Olaf. What a good chicken. What a good chicken. Hi. Hi, baby. You see the turkeys coming over to check out Olaf? Oh, what do you think? What do you guys think? Hmm? What are you doing, Comet? What are you doing, Comet? That's all he does all day. Just walks around puffs. That's all he does. He's in the background of every video. Just... Oh, cracker. Are you eating, Olaf? You eating your food? Yeah? Yeah. Good boy, Olaf. So I just split this one. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is split these other ones. So we have the big hollow log for the foxes. I wanna elevate it off of the ground. So I'm gonna get these out from under there. There we go. I just split that one. Now these are pretty long for splitting, but my chainsaw broke. So I'm gonna see what I can do and see what I can get away with with this. I split this one at least. It took quite a few swings, so it's not gonna be like those cool guy videos where he splits a log in half and no, this is gonna look really stupid actually, but I'm gonna try. All right, so I'm gonna try. I mean, it's supposed to be cut like, I mean, half of that to be able to properly split it. I do not think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. It's not that bad. I mean, it, it literally split it right in half, right where I would have wanted it to be split or to be cut to be able to be split. And that was not on the line I wanted. there all right so we split a few of them horribly that was embarrassing but now we got them so i put that there put the other one on the other side first we're gonna move this back over there That actually might work. Ready? All 
All right, so we got these two hides that I'm gonna put in the back over here since the foxes will be here tomorrow. I'm gonna have these in here and set up and have places to hide. And we're gonna we're gonna build something uh, more permanent, but for right now, this is just what we're gonna have. Oh, girl, oh, look at this. Look at this big girl. Oh, look at this. You're up on the platform, huh? You go girl. That's for the foxes. What? What? Can you jump up there? You're not gonna make that. <laughs> go girl! Oh my goodness, go girl! Oh, oh that's a go girl. Oh, that's for the fox though. You can't have it. You can't have it. Go girl, girl. Those are for foxes. Those are not for you. Those are for the foxes. Oh, those are for the foxes. Go crazy. Go crazy girl. All right, so I went to town for a minute, got some new hay. So right now we're bringing this over for the pigs and the goats. So we've got some coastal hay for bedding and then some ONA hay as food for the goats. All right, so the goats are very happy with the new hay. We're gonna bring this back. Well, I mean, here Olaf in the background, I definitely missed that. Come on. Look at poor Kit Kat hobbling along. If you've not seen the videos before, Kit Kat is our three-legged goat. So uh, Kit Kat came to the rescue after having that leg ripped off by a dog or well mangled by a dog. And then we actually paid for the amputation surgery before we even got her. But yeah, so all right, guys. So this is the ONA hay that they eat. Here you go. There you go. So that's Nilla, and then Toffee. Hi, Toffee. Kit Kat, you want some? You want some? No. There you go. All right, so this is the little barn where they sleep. You see, this is their little sleeping area, so I'm just gonna Throw a bunch of this coastal hay down to fluff it up. And that way they have uh, something to burrow into. They, they literally like burrow into this and bury themselves at night. It keeps them nice and warm. It's really cute, they all cuddle in here. All three goats and three pigs. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so <laughs> goats just jumped in the wheelbarrow. We already got the hay out. There's no more in there. There's no more. So now we're just scooping poop. Oh, hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Were you eating the hay? Looks like you were eating hay. You're a pig, not a goat. You don't eat hay. Hi, Petunia. Well, Petunia's being all aggressive. See that foam? So Petunia is a male boar. No, she's not. Yeah, she is a dude. No, she's not. And she tries to kill me all the time. So, hi, Tony. So I make peace by butt scratches. Watch the tail go out. You gonna put your tail up? I scratch your butt? No? We're not gonna do the tail? Yeah, it's going a little bit. Petunia. So Petunia gets really aggressive though. You should flop over. You're gonna flop? You're gonna fall down? You're gonna flop over? If I scratch you? What if I get a stick and that's what that's what you like. There it is. Oh, oh, nope. You will succumb to the flop. Look at this big pig. Look at this big pig. 
As I pet the pig and Gabby's over there working hard. You scoop that poop, Gabby. Get it. Get it. Stop. Petunia, what are you doing? You're not about to roll in the pile of poop I just collected. That's the perfect. Daisy's in it now. What is wrong with you guys? What do you think you're doing? It's leaves and poop. Oh my goodness. What's the phrase happier than a pig and... <laughs> this looks pretty happy in it. <laughs> Bam, why are you in here, Bam? Happy to have a walk back. So happy. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little stressed. Oh, tell them what happened on the drive back. Oh my gosh. Well, after two weeks of Olaf being in the hospital, I finally picked him up today, and I was 15 minutes away from the house, and I purposely went through town because there is like a highway portion where it is just chaos. How would you even explain it? Like a six-way intersection with no lights no, and no, no. signs. No, there, no. There's a highway going this way. And then there's a, a normal kind of road that goes right here that looks like like a lot of people and there's not proper signage so people just go straight into oncoming traffic and there's head-on collisions right there like regularly oh my god damn so i purposely didn't go that way it, covered in hay because i did i wanted to avoid an accident and so i'm going through town and the car in front of me gets t-boned right in front of me i watched it happen i heard the crash like it was it's pretty traumatizing, honestly. And so, if I were just like a couple feet in front, that would have been my car. Do you think it was a drunk driver? I just think it was a person that ran a stop sign and wasn't paying attention. Like didn't stop to look and- You didn't You didn't see like if they looked like they were- No, uh... no. But uh, yeah, I just sat there in shock and then called 911 and then a bunch of people stopped and started running over. But yeah, it was pretty uh, horrible, so. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> All right, so I just raked up a whole wheelbarrow full of pig poop and fallen leaves, and they've been rooting in here like crazy, too. So you can see all this. This is all from the pigs rooting, which, I mean, they love doing, you know. It's uh, good and natural for them to be able to do, and we're happy to be able to provide a huge space for them to be able to root in. All right, guys. Well, now the sun is setting. I got Jet right here bringing him inside since it's getting down kind of low tonight. And I guess I'll wrap up the video. So if you like seeing these kind of daily vlogs at the sanctuary, let me know. I'll do more of them. Or if it bombs and it sucks, I won't do any more of them. So let me know if you like seeing these.